what is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel guys yes it is another monday happy martin luther king day i think this is when this day is if this is it's like the day before so i think tomorrow is martin luther king day but anyway happy martin luther king day if you have the day off i hope you enjoy it if you don't well i still hope you have a good day Anyway, guys, yes, we are back with another episode of Amore Loco. If you guys don't remember what happened in the last one, um, we are here. Well, we'll get to them last since we're technically still here. Um, we found out that our girl, Miss, well, we've been found out that our girl, Miss Michaela, is our girl, Mrs. Alexis, half sister. Um, Alexis confronted her dad and Victoria and was like, I don't know what happened. I don't know what y'all are doing, but I feel like y'all are having an affair. I don't appreciate it. My mom left and you're here. What's going on? And, you know, they kind of haven't specified or specifically told her what's going on. But she's like, you know, whatever it is, we'll talk about it. I saw you and mom arguing. We need to talk about this. Our girl, Miss Michaela, is getting ready for a night with Rodrigo. Um, she is making him dinner. She hopes that her dad ends up liking Rodrigo um, because, you know, her and Rodrigo are together now and whatnot. Um, what else? Our baby Asher is having a freaking meltdown because adrian decided you know what you know what as much as i want to be with you i can't force things i can't you know sit here and beg you to be with me if you don't want to you know it is what it is i'm just gonna have to let you go um so you know what if we're meant to be we're meant to be if you come back you come back if you don't and that's okay and i still love you and it's caused asher to kind of go on a spiral our girl, Miss Dakota, told him, hey, you know what? You did the best thing possible for right now because right now you can't, you know, properly love and be with Adrian because you're having these demons within yourself and you need to heal yourself before you actually go out and talk to Adrian about what's going on and be with him. So, yeah, um, Rodrigo. Well, John Reed, who's Alexis's dad, came to the house because um, they thought they could, you know, catch Michaela and see her and talk to her for the first time. Um, you know, since finding out that, you know, that's his daughter, um, you know, he spoke to Rodrigo about things and he was like, you know, you've known her for a very long time and all that good stuff, you know, where Rodrigo kind of, you know, lets us know that you know, she is adopted, you know, and she does know that she's adopted, you know, but she's just never looked into her other family. But Michaela is aware that she is adopted. Um, Where he comes, where Victoria confesses that she is, um, that she is Michaela's mother. And before he can say anything, you know, Rodrigo's like, you know what, I can't do this right now, you know, I have to go see her, you know, and her family. And you guys have told me this. Now I got to go to dinner with this. And you know what? I want to know who her dad is, but not right now. So he leaves and we're brought back to a girl where we are right now with Ricardo and Miss Alexis. So Ricardo has been freaking out all this time to propose to our girl, um, Miss Alexis and things, you know, ready to start a life with her ready to do everything that he needs to. Um, he had Santana, Santiago, not Santana, Santiago, hold the ring and things and get the restaurant empty and all the good stuff. So that is where we left off here, where Ricardo asked our girl, Miss Alexis, will he marry her? Will she marry him? And for some reason, I feel like our girl is going to say no. And that's going to be tragic. Well, let's just jump into the episode, guys, and see what is the tea. Ricardo. Oh, gosh, it's a no. It's a no. Hold on. Is she actually saying no? Well, I gotta admit, wasn't expecting this reaction. No, no, you don't understand. 
my parents are breaking up. My parents' relationship is one I always looked up to. They did everything together. They promised they would never leave each other. They were so freaking perfect together, Rick. They are literally breaking up. What if this happens to us? What if you decide one day that you don't want me anymore? What if, what if being officially married to me will eventually push you away? I'll stop you right there. Yeah, you can't really base your relationship on other people's relationship because it's one thing to be an outsider in a relationship because everything can be all happy and glamorous and, oh, they look so happy, but really inside, you know, maybe they don't love each other anymore. Or maybe they're always arguing or maybe they just, you know, never been happy. But anyway, first of all, I had no plan, no idea about your parents, and I'm sorry about that. I've noticed you've been acting weird ever since your mom left, and I wish I asked why. But Alexis, whenever is happening with your parents now, they're not us. Like, literally, they they ain't got nothing to do with us. You and I have been through so much. We've been through good and bad, went to heaven and hell, and yet still here we are standing together. Stronger than ever, might I add. Alexis, if that's your biggest fear, then I can assure you I would never walk away from you. There's no one in this world that could ever replace you. I crossed the world to find someone like you, Alexis Reed. I crossed seas to find the love of my life. I crossed the world to find you. Do you really think I give up on you? Promise me then. Promise me that you'll stick with me no matter what and that a piece of paper won't change who we are. Promise me that no matter what, we will fix things and won't throw them away when they're broken. And that you won't leave me in rain ever again. Cross my heart and hope to die. Hermosa, I've been down and out for many years, but that's only until I found you. Can you maybe ask me again? You want me to ask you again, huh? Too bad. You missed your chance. Ricardo. Alexis Reed. Will you do me the honor of... Okay. So our girl did say yes. Yes. A million times yes. I will marry you, Ricardo. Ricardo Ramirez. And then get your cute little self over here, Mrs. Soon to be your Ramirez. Baby, because I thought it was going to be a no. And that was going to be awkward. I was going to say, listen, we ain't got that many episodes left. So how are they? <coughs> Bless me. We ain't got that many episodes left. So how are they going to finesse that one? My girl looks cute with her blazer and dress. Oh, I forgot that, R Rodrigo. You made it. Michaela, you look absolutely... Wow. I forgot that Ricardo also got all suited and booted up for his night out. Our boys were in their suits. The things I do for you. Oh, come on. Don't be such a crybaby. It won't be that bad. Who knows? You might actually like it. Let's agree to disagree, Red. But also, before you go in, there's something I need to tell you first. All right, what is it? I didn't exactly tell my dad... We're dating. Are you mad? Oh? Why would I be mad, love? You will tell him when you're ready. I won't push you, Red. If you didn't tell him, I know you have your reasons. I wonder what they could be. Stop that. I promise you, he will like you eventually. Keyword, eventually. Thank God I at least have your mom on my side. Don't worry about it too much. Rod, it's going to be fun. I promise. Did daddy just hear all that? Because. <laughs> awkward. Awkward. Awkward, awkward, awkward. I'm going to be like, yeah. Like, you're a daddy, but this is our daddy. So, you're going to have to get along. In honor of Twilight. Ugh. Oh my god, is this what she tells him? I know what you are. Say it. Say it. Out loud. Your skin is all of an ice cold. Your eyes are changing color. Sometimes they're green and sometimes they're blue. Like, can you please decide? You never eat or drink anything. Not even my pasta rose sauce. And you never meet me in the sunlight. How old are you? I'm 27. How long have you been 27? Almost a year. 
It's not normal. <laughs> I know what you are. Say it out loud. You're 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 an ogre. I'm a vampire, you moron. Ogre. Is that ogre? Might have been ogre. You should be scared of me. I'm the world's most dangerous predator. As if you could outrun me. She ain't running now, so I said, Dad, girl, as if you could fight me off. Turn <laughs> me! This is the stupidest movie I've ever seen. A movie about fucking vampires? Adrian will love this. Jesus, I don't even care anymore. I should have a rooftop party. That'll make me forget about him for tonight. Girl, not he behind the bar with the bartender. I think someone's calling you. Let them. My, maybe it's urgent? Yeah, yeah, maybe it's urgent. Girl, not he behind Asher. Not be he behind the bar with the bartender. You have reached Jamal's voicemail. Please leave a message or don't leave a message. It's best if you won't leave a message because I won't listen to it anyway. Jamal, I know you're not. This is not your voicemail. I can hear your clubbing. All right, you caught me. But no, I'm not exactly clubbing. You know, I just like that. It's milkshake night at the club we were at, remember? The one with the very cute bartender? So yeah, I'm here. What's up? Oh, that's cool. Good luck with her. But I called because I'm planning to host a rooftop party tonight. So I wanted to see if you could come. You can bring the milkshake girl with you. A rooftop party, huh? Wait, let me ask the lady. Count me in. I wanted to quit this job anyway. All right, you heard her. When should we be there? How about in two hours? That way everyone will be able to make it. I'll go and get the booze now. Don't worry, I'll get you your favorite grape juice. <gasps> Sweet, see you in two hours, Ash. Girl, not they dancing. I can literally sense their weirdness through the phone. No, for real, because y'all being weird. Time for booze. Oh, look at them. Remind me to get you champagne more often. I can't believe I've never tried champagne until now. Was I living under a rock or something? You were never a drinker from what I can remember. Since the first day I met you, I remember only one time you were drinking. That night I gave you a ride home with Luna, I re remember. Oh, God, it feels like it's been years ago. I didn't talk to anyone for months. I mean, besides the fact I told them about Nick... I'm legit the worst friend ever. Not at all, Alexis. Let's be honest. We've all been pretty occupied these last few months. And I must admit, your life in the States was pretty normal until you met me. You know, normal or not, I wouldn't change a thing about meeting you. Only the bad things that could have been avoided. But other than that, nothing. After all, everything happens for a reason, right? More champagne, love. Where have you <gasps> been all my life? Waiting for you. So cute. Alright, let's go on inside the head of yours. I don't know, I'm just wondering. Since you're getting married and all, where would you rather live? You mean, what country I would rather live in? Here or in the States? Honestly, that's a hard question to answer. I mean, I do miss my country so much, but my friends and my kind of old life, but I know Spain is your home. I'll stop you right there. I mean, so home is not only a place for me, it's a person as well. And you're my home. Wherever you go, I'll go. So what will we tell the others? For now, nothing. Obviously, we'll tell them our good news, but about moving to the States, let's keep it to ourselves for now, at least until it's relevant. Deal. I'm going to give a small piece of cake to Karina. She's starting to slowly eat solid food. Go ahead. Take your time. I 
How am I going to tell Rodrigo and Ellie are moving to the U.S.? How am I going to tell Santiago? Santiago. Don't know why. <laughs> He's fucking up his name. Santiago. Oh, <laughs> but he's happy. So they should be happy for you. But there's also like a big, you know, a big thing for me that I feel like they're not actually going to move. Like, it's going to be one of those things like, yeah, let's move. And then it's like, you know what? No, this is our home. This is because she really has more friends in freaking uh, here than she does in Spain. Because she has Luna and she has Mallory. Is that her other girl, Mallory? But that's about it. Like, who else is our friend? T is here because she's having the baby. But, like, like, we buried Nick here. So, like, for real, the only thing that's really in the U.S. is our parents. Like, but anyway, thanks for joining us tonight, Rodrigo. Thanks for inviting me, Mrs. Martinez. Of course, you're very happy. We're very happy to have you. And you're always welcome in our household. Right, honey? Dad? Where are your shoes? Oh, I'm sorry. Do I need to wear shoes in my own house now? Uh, anyway, I'm going to go use the bathroom. I need to fix my makeup. Do you mind? Take your time, love. I mean, Red. Take take your time, best friend. I'll be right back. Well, I'm going to go check on the food and set the table. Honey, why don't you and Rodrigo go out for a smoke? I can help you with that, Mrs. Ramirez. Nonsense. You're our guest tonight. Right, honey? Sure. See you in both in 15 minutes. <laughs> Rodrigo's like, don't do this. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I know what these two are planning. McKinley, you're so dead. So, a smoke? After you. I'm going to die here tonight. Mom, this dinner is going to be a disaster. I can already tell. Don't worry, my sweet child. We've got this. After tonight, your father is going to be a Rodrigo Stan. Mom, you know that will never happen. True. So? So? Nice socks. Thanks. You know what? You're right. It's going to be okay. I mean, how bad could it possibly be? So? So, <laughs> they're so awkward. Nice suit, I guess. Thank you, sir. Well, that's a good start. All right, let's give them a few more minutes together. I'll set the table for now. If you ruin this for our daughter, Alejandro, so God help me. Well, they're making progress with talking. I mean, it's not that great. But they're making progress. I'm just saying. They're making progress. What else should I get? Snacks. That's it. How are you going to have a bunch of drunk people up on your rooftop and you ain't got no snacks? What the hell is a snack aisle? Keep walking. You'll get there. How do you know what I was looking for? You just left tons of beer next to the cash register. You're obviously looking for snacks. So as I said, keep going. You'll get them straight. You'll see them straight ahead. You seem cool, so you should come. I'm having a rooftop party. Oh, I don't know. We're here a serial killer. Um, but I'm not. Okay, then. Let me write down your address. See you in two hours. <laughs> I like how he's just fighting any and everybody. He's like... He's like, you can come, you can come, you can come. Just a bunch of people come. Sure, I'll be there shortly. Adrian? Maybe I'll just say hi? Oh, not Adrian. Alright, I love you too. I'll see you soon. Of course it's not him. I don't fucking care. You care. You care, Asher. You care so much. I swore I thought he was going to see Adrian at the store. Like, dead ass. I, I really thought he was going to see him, but I guess not. Are you good or... 
what is this Duff the Unicorn? Girl, no, she don't got the girl drunk. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, you don't love me anymore. Babe, you make zero sense when you're drunk. Don't touch your phone while driving. Ricardo speaking. Oh, because they thought they might be a, that might be a call from Santa Claus. A party. I don't know, man. Sounds good, but Alexis is already kind of hammered. He's got a lot of champagne. What are you talking about? I'm completely fine. Rick oh, Ricardo, we should totally lay party. Santiago and Angelina can watch Raina for a few hours. Lord, give me strength. When? Lips popping. Brand new lips just bought up. Alexis, you make zero sense right now. No more alcohol for you ever again. Anyways, you and Alexis should come. Everything will be ready in two hours. So see you then. All right, let's make this place party ball. Meanwhile, at this very awkward, the food in this game has gotten better. Like the food choice um things have gotten better. Unless this is something that somebody did and put it on here. But the food options have gotten so much better. The food tastes amazing. Thank you so much, Mrs. Ramirez. Thank you so much, dear. But my credit should go to Michaela. She did most of the work. Really? She didn't tell me she cooks. That's the time we ordered takeout. The food tastes amazing, Grad. Thank you, Rod. If you really knew my daughter, you would have known she's an amazing cook. Alejandro. Challenging. You're right, sir. I should pay more attention to these details. Rodrigo, you don't have to answer. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Anyways, who wants dessert? I made some cake. My kids told me you love chocolate. Thank you, Mrs. Ramirez, but I'm full. But I bet it tastes amazing. Are you sure you love chocolate? I'm fine. Thank you. Kind of lost my appetite. So, Rodrigo. How long have you been dating my daughter? Holy sh... He knows. And to answer your facial expression, Michaela, of course I know. You're my daughter. I know you. Plus, you you were all lovey-dovey outside. Well, to answer your question, not for long. But I can promise you, sir, Michaela's in good hands. I love your daughter with all my heart. Do you care to explain what good hands you're talking about? Correct me if I'm wrong, but being a gang member isn't exactly good hands from what I've heard. Dad, it's fine, Michaela. Please let me talk. I understand your concern, sir. I really do, but never in my life have I ever involved Michaela in anything I had and still have a strict rule about that. And in case you didn't get the memo, my father is six feet under. I know. I'm deeply sorry for your loss. But you're Julio Ramirez's son. You'll continue his legacy, am I right? No, sir, I won't continue his legacy. As false as it sounds, I'm not interested in being a gang anymore. And my father knew this day would come, so I know even now, as he watches over me, he has no problem with that. So if that, so if that's what worries you, sir, then don't let it. I'm sorry, Michaela, I, I can't. Thank you for dinner. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, Mrs. Ramirez. R Rodrigo. How heartless can you be, Dad? What did I do? I just answered a simple question. Since you're dating a criminal, why are you both of you looking at me like that? I have every right to be mad. Didn't you listen to what he said? He's not interested in being a gang member. Our daughter is safe. And let's be honest, he kept her safe their entire lives. Every time someone bullied her in school, who is there for her? And for the love of God, the kid just lost his father. Where's your compassion? All right, maybe... Maybe I could have tried a different approach, but you didn't. Oh, you think? I just wanted to have a nice dinner with the people I love. And no how much I beg, you still ruined it for me, Dad. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going after him. Michaela, just don't. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm, 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 mm. Well, this dinner was lovely. It's your turn to clean the dishes. Yeah, because this was lovely. Oh, for the love of God. Yeah, this was lovely. Thank you for ruining my... Thank you for ruining my dinner and making my man feel uncomfortable. 
Girl, don't think of beer and cotton candy. We love that. It's kind of low-key, but it's enough. Thank you for your help, Coda. Hey, no problem. I like to party, but go take a shower before everyone comes because we don't stand the smell. You mean this lovely and manly smell? Please stand 50 meters away from me. All right, all right. I'm going. Jeez. My feelings are valid, you know. I'll be back in a few. Please don't touch or break anything. There's legit nothing to break on this roof, but okay. Drama queen. <laughs> background you made it of course what miss it for the world the background is so creepy low-key who are we seeing who are we seeing who are we seeing is it his military buddy uh it is you must be dakota asher told me a lot about you and you must be elijah from the army Asher indeed told me a lot about you as well. It's nice to meet someone American as well. Damn, there's a lot of Americans around here. It feels like I'm home. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I like how I'm just saying this, saying the songs. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just popped in. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just popped in. Like, just like, oh my god. Jamal, what the heck? Damn, Asher has been working out. I see you're supposed to be here in an hour. Yeah, but me and K's were bored. Who's K's? My milkshake buddy. My person to share my chocolate. My ride or die, bitch. Cool. Happy for you. Can I get dressed now? Alone? Oh, oh, shoot. Sorry. Yeah. See you out there. People are already waiting for you on the rooftop. Okay, okay, okay. So how did you meet Asher? As far as I remember, he's not the social one. We all met at work, actually. The rest is history. But you're right, Asher was pretty shy at first. But slowly we all got very close. Because it's not only work for us, we're family. Damn, that sounds cool. What do you guys do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? I don't think Asher mentioned it yet. Uh, we, um... We, uh, we're in the fast food business. Some fries won't fry themselves, you know. Really? Shut up. Fast food, huh? Oh my god, do you think I'm a fool or what? I should have left the army in such a hurry. He didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. Jesus, how did I see it coming? What, what are you? You're all secret agents, right? Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. And if you ever tell anyone, I will find you. And I will kill you. Your secret is safe with me. You have my word. Oh my god, Elijah was a dumbass. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only, the person you've all been waiting for. Jamal, stop that. You're all no fun, I swear to God. I don't see someone holding a drink in their hands. Come on, we're getting wasted tonight. Is... Is everything all right with Asher? Your old uniform? I must admit, it still look very good on you. I see you're starting to get to know each other. Elijah was my commander in my service. No, I never cared about our rank difference. I was considering you as my friend. Elijah's a pretty good dude. He should come more often. As much as I want to, I'm afraid duty calls. I need to go back to the States next week. But I did extend my stay since Asher asked so nicely. Diego, I would like to apologize about the other day. Don't. You're in a bad mood. I get it, Ash. We all get a little reckless when we're angry or upset. If you know what I mean. On that note, I'm going to grab myself a drink. Kitty, you want something? Kitty. Dakota, Coda, Kitty. Sounds alike, you know. Thanks, but no thanks. Do it yourself. What's up with him? I'll be right back. Your friends are weird. <laughs> You're telling me. 
a little while later. Wait! Oh, girl, now she ran. He ain't drive. Ran. <laughs> Red, what are you doing here? Ooh, squishy face. What do you mean, what are you doing here? You really think I'll just let you go? Please don't let anything he said to you get to you. You're not what he thinks you are. You're so much more than that. You're so much more than you think. Do you hear me, Rodrigo Ramirez? So much more. Rodrigo, underneath that thick layer you're showing the world, there's someone who's so much different from what the world sees. Someone kind and loving and caring and someone with the biggest heart I've ever seen. Don't let them get to you, please. I ball itch. You're amazing, Red. You know that? I don't deserve you. Trust me, Michaela, your dad is not who's worrying me. I just have something on my mind. I'm sorry. We should have rescheduled and things could have turned out differently, maybe. Rob, what are you talking about? Never mind. Forget I said anything. You're yeah, right. Open your mouth, big boy. Michaela, I I can't. Trust me. I want to tell you so bad, but I, I just can't. It's not my story to tell, so I can't. But at the same time, it's not my secret to keep. I don't know what to do. Rodrigo, I'm so confused. What is it? Please, let's talk about this tomorrow. I love you. Good night. Rodrigo, wait. Yeah. Yeah, because go home. And talk to you. Uh, talk to their father. Because um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. something ain't right. All right, spit it out. What are you talking about? The thing you told Asher a few minutes ago. What do you mean by if you know what I mean? Look at you being a nosy little thing. Is it because you still have a crush on him? I don't have a crush on him anymore. I'm just looking out for him, you know, because I simply care. And so do I. I just don't want him to do something he might regret. What do you mean? Oh. Oh. Well, everyone does a heartbreak differently, you know? And honestly, I think you're wrong. They just miss each other, you know? And I guess it's a good thing you're worried about him. Of course, he's my friend. But yeah, he should let him do his thing, I guess. So screw that. Want to do a shot with me? Hells yeah. Oh, are we going to get Dakota? Sorry, there's a glitch. Not everyone can see props. Um, Are we going to get Diego and Dakota? Because I'd be kind of here for that. Dakota... Dakota. Diego needs him as a little girl. And he deserves that. I've arrived. And so has the pizza. Alexis, I'm begging you, please don't drink too much, okay? Please. Please. Okay. There's no need to be all dramatic. I'm going to join Dakota and Diego and don't tell anyone until my bestie arrives. You didn't lie about her being a little energetic. She's like a damn child when it comes to handling her liquor. Anyway, thank you for having us. I can even see new f new faces around. Nice to meet you. My name's Elijah. I was with Asher doing good army service. Damn thing, you're far from home, aren't you? Ricardo, Ricardo Ramirez. Hmm. Ricardo Ramirez, the name sounds familiar. You're a street fighter, right? Something like that. Holy shit, I saw you fight once. It was when I was visiting New York. You should know how to throw a punch. Yeah, that was actually my last fight. Didn't really keep up with it since I got back. Damn, really, what a shame. You could have made a career out of it, you know? You know, as a professional fighter, but this time, try to make it legal, yeah? <laughs> Sounds tempting, but I have a daughter now, so I don't know if that's what I want to keep doing, you know? I want to give her the best example I can. I understand, but still, think about it. I know a guy. It can be legal. JJ, give me a, give him a break, will ya? Ricardo wants to be a chef. JJ? Wait, a chef? Don't ask. He's not with us. Anyways, what's the reason Alexis has been drinking? From what I've learned about her, she's not the drinking type. You're right, she's not. But patience, my friend. I will tell you in a few. I'm just waiting for her bestie to arrive first. Her besties? From the States? Rodrigo. Damn, Rod's coming? I didn't talk to him because he said he has something important tonight. Yeah, he kind of wrapped things up early. So, he'll be here in like 10 minutes, give or take. Awesome. Well, I'm going to get my daily dose of blood, so I don't go anywhere. What? His daily dose of blood? 
he watched Twilight, so ignore his weirdness tonight. Jesus, then you better watch him then. I would love to, but I can't babysit two big babies all by myself. Don't worry, Fields, I got him. About Fields, I got him. Damn, look at you. What's the occasion for this lovely dress? I look so good on you, Lex. Kitty, you're so nosy. Enough with the kitty. Why? It suits you. Kitty. I swear to God, Diego, I will punch you. Don't push it. There's no need to involve violence and everything, you know? When you're done flirting with each other, can you pass me some cotton candy? Flirting? Are you out of your mind? Yeah, I'd rather flirt with anyone else on the planet other than her. You wish that I even look in your direction, you fool. Well, someone here is a little too confident. <laughs> what the hell did I do? I just want some cotton candy. You're nothing but a prick, you know that? Go and flirt with the random girls in a bar or something since you won't be able to get any action here tonight. Oh, look at you, Miss High and Mighty. Let me find someone who might fit your standards, my queen. Is there someone here who's older than 90 and has a couple of billion in his bank account? Excuse me? How fucking dare you? Do I look like that type of girl to you? Next time, try not to judge me so quickly and I would do the same as well. Guys, what? Can I have some cotton candy? <laughs> That's literally me. I don't care what happens. I just want some cotton candy. Like, that's all I want. Give me some cotton candy. I don't care about y'all flirt with each other. Give me cotton candy. Hey, whatever happened, I truly hope you're okay. I love you. Good night. Talk to me tomorrow. I love you, Red. Please don't worry about it. I'll see you tomorrow. God damn it, I need a drink. Ooh, 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 look at our tan. What the world? Did anybody see my sink? Why does he not have pants on? Sink! Where'd we go? Damn, look at you in your suit. It belonged to dad, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Dude, I swear that weave was strong as fuck. Now it looks like there's two of you. Well, that wasn't weed. It was a regular cigarette. What do you mean? Yeah, Ricardo isn't really into that shit. But you're not wrong, though. There is two of us. I'm Rodrigo Ramirez, the better twin. Holy shit, you two are exactly the same. I think I might have drank too much. I'm going to get some water. Asher has cool friends. I have to disagree with you. Okay, so how was your family dinner with Michaela? You know what? I have a better idea, but I didn't suggest anything. Let's have some shots. Are you trying to avoid my question? No. What's happening here? Alicia, where are you going? Fields? Weren't you upstairs a few minutes ago? I had to take a leak. Honestly, I just need a moment of quiet. Too many people upstairs. That's on you, buddy. Next time, don't invite random people from the street to your rooftop party. Yeah, that's definitely the last time I'll be doing that. What's happening? Hey, Elijah, can I ask you something? Sure, what is it? What's happening? You're into men, right? Look at you being so straightforward. Who are you and what have you done to the shy Asher Fields I know and love? The old Asher? Babe, the old Asher Fields is long gone. And it's a party after all. Might as well enjoy it before you fly back. Oh. Pants on the floor. Put the body. Are you sure your boyfriend won't mind? Shut up about him. And he's not my boyfriend. I'm in this bed with you, aren't I? Ooh. Ooh. Is everything all right, love? Yeah. That girl's making me weird. Sorry. Don't stop. Ooh. Ooh. He ain't gonna be able to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
He ain't gonna make it. Asher, are you okay? I can't do this. I'm sorry. Oh, this is wrong. I'm so sorry. I swear to God, you're unbelievable. This is why I never liked you in the first place. You're so full of yourself. I, so please, just stop pulling me around. I just want to go to the bathroom. Me following you around, I came inside because I need to make a phone call. You're the one who turned off the lights and is super clingy right now. If you wanted my attention, kitten, you should have just said so. You really think I want to be in a dim room with you, prick? And why don't I just want to turn off the lights? A naked asher running down the street. And FYI, I was the one who turned off the lights because I'm a vampire. Lord, somebody follow him. Somebody follow him. Somebody follow him. I miss him. I miss him so much. The phone call, the phone number you have called is no longer in service. The phone number you have called is no longer in service. The phone number you have called is no longer in service. The phone call. The phone call. The phone number you have called is no longer in service. Asher, I'm letting you go. I want you to be happy and I don't want you to relive your worst nightmare. And if I'm the one who's causing that, I'll stay out of your way. I promise you'll never see me again. You had to break the phone? Wait a minute now. How the hell are you going to call him now, boy? Don't be breaking the phone. He's gone. Adrian is actually gone. He kept his promise. Why the hell did he have to keep his promise? Why the hell am I so damn complicated? I made a mistake. I let the love of my life slip between my fingers because I was a fucking coward. Because I truly believe I would be okay without him and that things would be easier. I'm such a fool. Things have... Things are even worse with every second he's not by my side. Adrian, the person I can't breathe without, is actually gone. I mean, technically not really. He's he's at the he's at the Ramirez's, and that is it for this episode, guys. Guys, we have now officially reached the last three episodes, guys. So. How do you guys think it's all going to end? We literally got three more episodes to clear everything up. And we literally have a, a lot to clear up. We still got to go through Michaela finding out that um, John Reed or well, Michaela and Alexis finding out that um, their sisters, John Reed and Victoria meeting Michaela for the first time. Rodrigo and Michaela's dad, you know, possibly rekindling. How are Adrian and Asher going to get back together? Possibly seeing Alexis and Rodrigo's wedding. Um, T telling everyone about the baby. It's just so many things that we have to talk about. And yet, we only are down to the last three episodes, guys. Um, but yeah, guys, that is all that I have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoy this Monday, you know. If you have to work like I do, you know, which sucks. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'll be fine. What you're looking for. I hope you guys have a good day, night, morning, whatever time you see this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Our little secret. Our little secret.